Hi, my name is Colleen McFarland. What I like about taking photographs is that I get to show people what having my disability is like. Because with the thing that I have, it's in my mind so that I can't easily show people what it's like to have autism. You can easily show people what it's like to be blind by putting a blindfold over their eyes, but there's no real way of showing people what it's like to have autism, unless you show pictures of your life. One of my photographs, I have these things at home, they're picture boards of, they're like giant collages of my comforts and like, like um, pictures of things that I like. And when I look at them, it kind of helps me get through the day. Once I was out and I noticed this tree, it had these like lines in it that looked kind of like veins. It fascinated me so much that I took a picture of it. I used to have a camera before I started the workshop. It was more of my mom's camera. It was never really my camera, so I decided I would use this new camera from now on. This camera only shows what I see. It like can show people what having autism is like. Some people in my family are kind of artistic. I mean, it kind of says like, well, well, I'm one too, so maybe. Yeah. My name is Brittany. I like to take pictures of animals, wild stuff, flowers. I thought my pictures were fantastic. I like the ones that took pictures of my peers. I took pictures of Jasmine and my other friends. People thought my pictures was good and different from other pictures. The different by angles. Courtney did teach me how to take pictures at different angles. My favorite part of the workshop is when we went out in the community and took pictures of different things that we never saw before. It made me look more careful. My name is Louis Reyes Rivera. The thing about I like taking photographs is different angles and different like pictures and um, expression myself like to create. My head photograph that I took was me and my friends. Well, I thought that when I saw the pictures, I thought it was, um, I picked out the nicest one. Like that I could put in the picture frame in my mom's house. My mom thought my picture was good because that I'm like creative. The angles I do is kind of creative. The things I how I created was bending down my knees and moving the camera side to side to see what's the right angle. I felt like an artist. When I'm bored in my house, I just go outside and walk around the town and like take pictures of like graffiti pictures on walls, shoes in different stores, like different houses. There was like a wall of like little branches, but it actually looked like it was a design. And I took a picture of it. For me, it changed my like a personality. Me. It's like when I'm frustrated that I like go outside and take pictures and stuff and then cool down and stuff. Hi, my name is Kendra Lee. My name is Anton. I took a lot of photographs. Really um, lets me let my feelings come out. Well, there was this one photograph, the um, sky. It was not a normal sky. It wasn't just clouds and blue. It was a red gaze. And I looked at that sky before I took it and I thought about what 
I felt when I looked at it and I saw that that sky isn't just one normal sky, it's a sky that actually meant something. And that meant to me because I'm just not just like one weird dude. I'm someone unique that just has so much feelings for everybody and likes everybody even if they don't like me. And when people look at the sky, it's like sometimes they don't like the way it looks and sometimes they do. So I could really connect with the sky and myself. I first saw my photographs. I couldn't believe I actually did that. I didn't just take pictures of skies, I took pictures of friends. This is the thing I want to do. My name is Jasmine. I like taking photographs of like people and cats and dogs and stuff like that. And it's really fun at photo group because you can take pictures to whenever you want. You can go anywhere. Um, I liked I liked going to the dog park and taking videos of the dogs and all that stuff. When I first saw them, it was, they were really fun and really really cool. At photo group and Courtney came, there was like a big show. And we had snacks and everything, so it was really fun. They brought donuts, and my, my favorite donut was the Oreo donut. Why I learned is you had to like get down low and stuff, and you had to like go up high and then like see how I'm doing it. I had to take pictures like up high, down low, and stuff like that. That's how I learned it. it makes me think I, I could take my my camera anywhere I want now. I'm Alex Krieger. I like taking pictures because you get to capture specific images and perspectives that you can share with other people. I like photographing patterns or shapes that could be seen in like landscapes. Uh, I also like doing distant pictures with a, like a large scene or parts of nature. Uh, I also like things that represent things like statues or pictures that I think I can portray ideas. There was an American flag and I took a picture of it through a foggy glass awning. Or there was um, bees hovering around a flower or specific angles on a statue with the eye line in focus. I liked that the American flag, which represents America, and so that could take on whatever people think about America. And then the fact that it was kind of in the distance, so you had to look for it in the picture. I like the new experience and the opportunity to try something new. Hello, my name is Jeffrey. What I like about photography is that the use of the camera, being able to keep the camera, being able to do awesome camera picturing and videos. What I thought of when I took the pictures was remarkable. How I changed the setting of the picture. I showed it to my family, they loved it. I definitely did think about myself in different ways, especially in how I became a part of me. All I did was like take pictures that pop into my head. The best pictures I ever took was when I was standing in the middle of the street. Took one great picture of the um, building near the school in the distance. It was like awesome. That was actually my first best ultimate picture I ever took. Hoping to do it in the future. 
thing I'll be doing for the rest of my life. Passing my pictures on from generation to generation. Basically like a family thing because I already got my family pictures. So I'm thinking about doing the same. Passing on generation to generation. My name is Tanil. What I like about taking photographs is you get to see your work after you're done with it and see how all the hard work you put into it and it makes you very happy. I think it was a great experience. I liked my photographs. It was amazing to look at my pictures and 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 know that I did them and to be proud of myself. One of the pictures that I liked the most would be the ones of other people that are in it and the, and the plants and stuff and all the nature. It was really lovely. Well, some people thought it was really cool. It looked like paintings. It was kind of nice to see that people like my photos. I see the world as something beautiful and something that I'm proud to live in. And proud to have people around me. Sometimes, like when you take your pictures, you'll look back at them. And when you look back at them, the, you see new things that you've never seen inside the pictures before. I took a picture of a lot of trees and I took a picture of a lot of lake, a lot of like lakes inside the sanctuary. And it was pretty cool, so yeah. Hello, my name is Bridget. What I like about the photography is that I can capture a picture, pretty much anything. When I saw them for the first time, I um, naturally liked them. I liked when me and my peers were in the, the Rose Garden at Memory Park, which I've passed a number of times, but hadn't been there and didn't realize how big it was. So it was really beautiful. I love being creative in all kinds of ways. And I think that that's one thing that can help people like change in a way. You know, if you look at a picture, whether it be really ugly or really beautiful, it can make a difference, I believe, in you know many people's lives. Self-portraits, you learn to, or I guess you could say it sounds more difficult than it is. Well, until Courtney showed me how to take the picture, put in the camera at myself, just like I would put a camera at you. I think with pictures, you know, it take as, um, as many as you can, possibly, and I uh, like, try not to let them get away. I'm Jane Benger. I've been um, Casey's pediatric private duty nurse for six years, and um, her experience at Ivy Street was just phenomenal. And even though she was here a very short period of time, I watched her grow so much in like three, three and a half months. Um, and she did things here at Ivy Street that I never thought she would do before. And the photography class was absolutely the highlight. Um, prior to taking the class, if we were going on an outing, her mom would get her a, a disposable camera. And she had some difficulties, um, you know, holding the camera and pushing the button. And um, Ivy Street was able to adapt the camera to Casey's specific needs. And once she got the hang of it, she was just off. And there was one particular day, she shot um, 151 pictures. And this was an opportunity that I never thought Casey would have. 